players are now getting punished for being injured. Joel Embiid, who was the front runner of the MVP, is now hurt with a torn meniscus. Joel Embiid's season is over. Well, that could be possible. But Joel Embiid has just had a significant injury, a torn meniscus, and has quite frankly just ruined another MVP season and maybe one of the best seasons that we've ever seen from a center. So Joel Embiid will need to get surgery on his knee. So he is out indefinitely. And this is bad news for Joel Embiid and the Sixers. Why? Because this is the best player in the league. He was the best player last year. He won MVP and he was having his best season yet. And one of the best seasons we've probably ever seen in a very long time. There was no doubt he was going to win MVP if he kept this season up. He was probably going to get the scoring title MVP and he was just playing out of his mind. Now, just to go through a couple of stats, he was averaging 35 points per game. That is good for first in the NBA, averaging 11 rebounds, which is sixth in the NBA and almost six assists as a center. But how good was he actually playing? I mean, because last year he won MVP, right? Well, last year he averaged 33 points and 10 rebounds, four assists and shot 54% from the field. First in scoring and having one of the best seasons we ever seen in basketball. I mean, he just scored 70 points. This guy is consistently putting up 35 points per game, 45 points per game. He is having an amazing season. So much so, it looks like the NBA has caught on to this scoring bug. I mean, Booker had 62 points. Carl Anthony Towns had 62 points. Steph Curry had 60 points. I mean, those all ended in losses, but everyone is going crazy. I mean, even Luka Doncic had a 73-point game. The scoring bug is actually insane. And maybe it's because Joel Embiid is just putting on a show for everyone to witness. So you can do nothing but follow behind his steps. But just to put things in perspective for you, in the month of December, he had 50 point game. Then he went on to score 38, 34, 41, 35, 42, 40, 51, and then 31. And then in January, he had 31, 30, 41, 41, 36, 33, that 70 point game and a 31 point performance. And then the media and fans said that he was ducking Nikola Jokic. So there's another side to this Joel Embiid story. He's having an amazing season, but he has missed multiple games, hindering his chances of being the MVP this season. Why? Because there's a new rule in place claiming that if you don't play at least 65 games, you will not be eligible for NBA awards. You will not be eligible for all NBA selections. So while Joel Embiid is having one of his best seasons ever, he is an all-star starter, but he may not even win the MVP or be considered for an all NBA selection. You have to play 65 or more games starting this season to be considered for an NBA award or an all NBA selection. And that has gotten a lot of pushback from many people around the NBA. People have spoken up about it, like Tyrese Halliburton and Draymond Green. Now, Tyrese Halliburton has been injured for a couple of weeks with a hamstring injury. And obviously, Draymond Green has been out because of disciplinary reasons. But NBA players are definitely not fond of this new rule. And it could have a lasting impact just this season alone. Players are now getting punished for being injured. Joel Embiid, who was the front runner of the MVP, is now hurt with a torn meniscus. And yes... A torn meniscus in that very knee that was already bothering him. I'm no doctor, Stephen A., but I don't think he tore his lateral meniscus by Jonathan Kaminga falling on the knee. The knee was already swelling up. So to my point, you got a hurt player, a guy that's legitimately hurt, being affected by a rule of guys, yes, guys were sitting out. I agree. But just like the NBA can investigate anything else, they can investigate and know when someone's sitting out because they're low managing. MVPs are hard to come by. So Joel Embiid on the verge of getting his second one, and he's essentially possibly going to miss extended time because of a rule that's aimed at players resting when healthy. And all criteria created, there's unintentional con consequences. And an unintentional consequence of this one is Joel Embiid will be screwed and not win his second MVP in a row because he actually got hurt. But what is really going on with Joel Embiid? So Joel Embiid was receiving 
pushback because he hasn't played against the Denver Nuggets. He hasn't played against them since 2019 when the 76ers went to visit the Denver Nuggets just a week ago. He did not play in that game and he was actually ready to play but 15 minutes before the game they decided that he wasn't going to be playing in that game. So of course the fans booed him and the media called him out saying that he was ducking Nikola Jokic, another former MVP. But it seems like Joel Embiid was actually hurt. Now, although the Philadelphia Sixers were fine for not reporting him on the injury report early on, it does seem like Joel Embiid was actually hurt. And then Joel Embiid would come back and played against the Golden State Warriors in which he just did not look like himself. He looked either tired or fatigued. He looked like he had no spring in his game. He wasn't able to play like himself. He wasn't able to beat Joel Embiid. There was an instance where he couldn't even jump on a play and then of course Jonathan Kaminga fell on his left knee and maybe that caused the injury or maybe he was already injured and that made it worse. But now he has an injury to his meniscus. He will get surgery and we'll see what happens there. But this just seems like deja all over again. I mean, Joel Embiid seems to get hurt many, many times in the playoffs. Just last year, had an MVP season and then got into the playoffs and he was hurt. And then James Harden had to try to carry that team. And it was just another early exit for the Philadelphia 76ers. But we'll see what happens with Joel Embiid. Hopefully he can come back within the next two months because the East is getting pretty interesting. I mean, you have obviously the Celtics and the Bucks up there with the 76ers. You also have teams like the Magic, the Knicks, and the Pacers that are in striking distance to take those top spots over. So the Philadelphia Sixers are going to have to be very diligent with this situation. And of course, with the trade deadline looming, they're going to maybe have to make a possible trade to keep this team a little bit more competitive than what it would be without Joel Embiid. But let me know down in the comments, what do you think? is going to happen with Joel Embiid. Will he be out for the rest of the season? Will the 76ers try to make a trade to help out this roster? And if Joel Embiid can't go anytime soon, where will the 76ers be seated going into the playoffs? And if you want more NBA videos like this, make sure you like and subscribe. This is Game on the Line.